It began in the late 50s as a summer camp for people with intellectual disabilities. Now, the Special Olympics is a global movement and it's been changing lives and attitudes for more than half a century. This week, spring training began in Victoria for more than 200 athletes and just as many volunteers. On your mark, get set. Go! Go, Michael! Go, Michael! Go, Michael! It's the first track and field practice of the Special Olympic spring season. There's running, shot put, broad jump, but this is just one of the programs offered. There's also softball and t-ball, golf, soccer, bocce ball, and a multi-sport program for youth. We just signed up uh, an athlete that was about five, and it goes up to athletes well into their 70s. Oh, intense! Woo! You know, the thing that you really find when you come to Special Olympics that is just so unique to me is, is the sportsmanship and the sense of community. We are working on the 50 and the 100 and eventually 200 to all the way perhaps to 5,000 or 10,000 meters. 250 volunteers organize and deliver 19 different programs in Victoria for more than 200 athletes. My personal goals is actually getting ready for the uh, Worlds and just making my province proud of me and just doing my best. Jeremy brought home gold for Team Canada's soccer team last summer in Vancouver. I'm actually going to the Worlds for Team Canada for Special Olympics in California. So I do track to get me in shape and just to come out and have fun with the other athletes and help them as well with their stuff too. Go! Go! You'll see people do a race and be congratulating the winner more than, you know, lamenting the fact that maybe they didn't win. It's just, it's an amazing, amazing um, experience to be a coach in that kind of environment. It's just the positivity is off the charts. And swing your arms and jump. For the summer I do softball and track and field for my first time. And for the winter sports I do curling. Mary represented Canada in softball nervous when I got picked and I says I'm just gonna do my best but if I can't win I'm just gonna do my best and then we sat down and they said can Victoria please come up for your silver medal Storm high, please. Nice, that was great. Spaces are still available in some programs and there's always room for more volunteer coaches. Bend your knees. Volunteering with Special Olympics is one of the best decisions you can definitely make. I got involved by answering an ad uh, about five years ago looking for softball coaches and I've had the opportunities to travel, um, coach, do the serving on the local board and it's just, it's an incredible experience. Click on the links tab at checknews.ca for more information. Hey, check news. Happy Easter!